CA Service Management 14.1.03 is an update for CA Service Desk Manager 14.1.x. CA Service Management 14.1.03 installation includes the installation of Xflow Analyst Interface and Search Server. The Xflow Analyst Interface offers a new user experience for Service Desk Analysts. It provides them with a complete contextual understanding of the work that needs to get done and is optimized to provide the right resources at the right time to solve issues quickly. Search Server is the customized version of Elasticsearch Server and renders an improved search capability to the Xflow Analyst interface. The Search Server implements better indexing and search techniques to enable an efficient way to search for the relevant information. As an analyst, you can perform searches from Xflow Analyst interface on the facets such as users, tickets that includes incidents and requests, configuration items also known as CIs, and knowledge base articles. You can deploy CA SDM in your enterprise in small, medium, or large configuration. The CA SDM Advanced Availability Configuration is recommended for all these deployment models since it provides better performance and availability. You can use cluster DBMS configurations to support large data volumes. Each server in Advanced Availability mode requires DBMS connectivity. When you need to install CA Service Management 14.1.03, you will install the following components. The installer checks if CA SDM 14.1 is installed in your environment and upgrades it to CA SDM 14.1.03. The installer installs the Xflow Analyst interface on top of CA SDM 14.1. In Advanced Availability mode, the Xflow Analyst interface can only be installed on an application server. Search Server can be installed on a dedicated server or on any of the server in AA environment. In this demo, we are deploying it on the standby server. We can also have clustering of Search Server that is more than one Search Server deployment for improved performance and availability. Let us first start by upgrading the standby server using CA Service Management 14.1.03 installer in the Advanced Availability mode. Please note that you need to stop the CA SDM services on all servers that is background server, application server and standby server in your environment before starting the upgrade process. Now, log in to standby server. Right-click setup.exe and select Run as Administrator. Review and accept the license agreement information. Click Next to continue. Either you can select Microsoft SQL Server or Oracle as the database type in the database configuration screen. For this demonstration, let us select Microsoft SQL Server. Database Server is the host name of the database server. If the target instance is part of a clustered instance, the virtual host name of the cluster must be used. Database name specifies the database name MDB, the name of the target DBMS. The default value is MDB. Database port specifies the port identifier for the target DBMS. Database server instance. This is the database instance name. Leave this field blank if you're using the default instance. Database Admin User For Microsoft SQL Server, SA is the default value. The SA user is the admin user with permission to create users and schemas. Database Admin Password Specifies the database password of the user specified by the database admin user. There is no default value for this parameter. MDB Admin Password Specify the password for the user specified for the MDB admin user and then confirm the MDB admin password. Click Next to continue. Select the option CA Service Management and choose CA Service Desk Manager and Search Server. Note, Xflow Analyst component is not available on the standby server. It is available only on the application server. Click Next to continue. 
Server host name specifies the system name or IP address where you will install the search server. Cluster name specifies the name of the search server cluster. Search server port specifies the search server port details. The default value of HTTP port is 9012 and TCP port is 9300. Selecting initial load is optional. If this option is selected, then the required data will be loaded from SDM into search server. This option is available only once when you perform search server installation on the first machine. This process will take some time depending on the size of the data being loaded. Please note that this option will be grayed out on the remaining servers in the advanced availability mode. Click Next to continue. Review the patch information summary page and click Next. Click Install to proceed with the installation. Review the installation progress and when the installation is complete, click Next. Review the patch installation summary screen and click Finish to exit the installer. Following are the post-install steps after installing CA Service Management 14.1.03 on CA SDM 14.1. Open a command prompt window. Run the pdm underscore configure command to start the CASDM configuration wizard. Select server configuration as advanced availability. Click next to continue. Select the database type to SQL and click next. Provide the required information for MS SQL database configuration. Click Next to accept the default general settings. Specify the privileged user details to allow users to log in to CASDM. Click Next to continue. Here you have specified the to to Tomcat Pat to monitor shutdown requests. Click Next to continue. In the Support Automation screen, you will configure the Support Automation server in the main ser server mode. If you select the main server option and are planning to con configure one or more socket proxy servers, you, you need to set the socket server hostname and external port to the socket proxy. Click Next to continue. Finish to complete the CASDM configuration. The configuration has completed successfully. Click OK. This completes the installation of CA Service Management 14.1.03 on the standby server. You will now promote the standby server as the new background server by performing the following steps. PDM underscore server underscore control minus V. Run this command to suppress version control on the standby server. pdm underscore server underscore control minus b. Run this command to promote this standby server as the new background server. pdm underscore web cache minus h. Run this command to delete the browser cache. pdm underscore web cache minus b. Run this command to alert users to clear the browser cache. Now, the standby server is promoted as the new background server. So let us log into the original background server and install the CA Service Management 14.1.03 on it. Right click setup.exe and select Run as Administrator. Review and accept the license agreement information. Click Next to continue. Either you can select Microsoft SQL Server or Oracle as the database type in the database configuration screen. For this demonstration, let us select Microsoft SQL Server. The database configuration details are specified here. Click Next to continue. Select the option CA Service Management and choose CA Service Desk Manager and Search Server. Click Next to continue. Click Next to accept the default search server configuration details. Review the patch information summary page and click Next. Click Install to proceed with the installation. 
Review the installation progress and when the installation is complete, click Next. Review the patch installation summary screen and click Finish to exit the installer. Following are the post-install steps after installing CA Service Management 14.1.03 on CASDM 14.1. Open a command prompt window. Run the PDM underscore configure command to start the CASDM configuration wizard. Select server configuration as advanced availability. Click next to continue. Select the database type to SQL and click Next. Provide the required information for MS SQL database configuration. Click Next to continue. Click Next to accept the default general settings. Specify the privileged user details to allow users to log in to CASDM. Click Next to continue. Here you have specified the Tomcat port number and the socket port number for Tomcat to monitor shutdown requests. Click Next to continue. In the Support Automation screen, you will configure the Support Automation server in the Main Server mode. If you select the Main Server option and are planning to configure one or more socket proxy servers, you need to set the socket server host name and external port to the socket proxy host. Click Next to continue. Click Finish to complete the CASDM configuration. The configuration has completed successfully. Click OK. This completes the installation of CA Service Management 14.1.03 on the Acting Standby server. To promote this server as the new background server, perform the succeeding steps. PDM underscore server underscore control minus V. Run this command to suppress version control on the standby server. PDM underscore server underscore control minus B. Run this command to start the services on the standby server. Next, execute the following commands to load the updated data from CASDM. PDM underscore load minus F space Santa Fe underscore insert dot DAT. PDM underscore load minus F space Santa Fe underscore update dot DAT. PDM underscore load minus F space Tucson underscore insert dot DAT. PDM underscore load minus F space Tucson underscore delete dot DAT. PDM underscore load minus F space humpy underscore insert dot DAT. Next, let us clear the browser cache. PDM underscore web cache minus H. Run this command to delete the browser cache. PDM underscore web cache minus B. Run this command to alert users to clear the browser cache. Let us install CA Service Management 14.1.03 on the application server. Right click setup.exe and select run as administrator. Review and accept the license agreement information. Click Next to continue. Either you can select Microsoft SQL Server or Oracle as the database type in the database configuration screen. For this demonstration, let us select Microsoft SQL Server. The database configuration details are specified here. Click Next to continue. Select the option CA Service Management and choose CA Service Desk Manager and Xflow Analyst Interface. Here we are not selecting Search Server since it is already installed on the standby server. Complete the Xflow Analyst Interface configuration details. Click Next to continue. Review the Patch Information Summary page and click Next. Click Install to proceed with the installation. Review the installation progress and when the installation is complete, click Next. Review the Patch Installation Summary screen and click Finish to exit the installer. 
following are the post install steps after installing CA Service Management 14.1.03 on CA SDM 14.1. Open a command prompt window. Run the pdm underscore configure command to start the CA SDM configuration wizard. Select server configuration as advanced availability. Click next to continue. Select the database type to SQL and click Next. Provide the required information for MS SQL database configuration. Click Next to continue. Click Next to accept the default general settings. Specify the privileged user details to allow users to log in to CASDM. Click Next to continue. Here you have specified the Tomcat port number and the socket port number for Tomcat to monitor shutdown requests. Click Next to continue. Click Next to accept the default REST web services information. Click Next to continue. Click Next to accept the default visualizer details. Click Next to accept the default support automation details. Click Finish to complete the CASDM configuration. The configuration has completed successfully. Click OK. This completes the installation of CA Service Management 14.1.03 on the application server. After completing the appropriate post-installation tasks for your environment, ensure that you enable the heat weather demons in your implementation by performing the following steps. Open the command prompt and execute the pdm underscore options underscore mgr command on the background server. On the background and standby server, double click the nx.env file and validate that the heat related value is present. At nx underscore heat underscore weather is equal to heat weather. Close the nx.env file. On the background server, select the CA Service Desk Manager server. Restart the service. Note: Restart the CA SDM service on the standby servers and also application servers. Log in to the application server and go to services. Select the Xflow Analyst interface. Start the Xflow Analyst service. You have now successfully installed CA Service Management 14.1.03 patch on the background server, standby server and application server for advanced availability configuration. You have also enabled the heat weather demons in your implementation. Thank you for watching this video. To learn more about CA Service Management, please visit the CA Education website.